Mortal Kombat, the punniest one-liner comedy battle ever to exist, ever. Tonight, four comedians will battle it out in head-to-head -head combat to become the ultimate one-line warrior. Now, let's meet your host, the Punderdog, as we prepare to engage in a ferocious battle of Mortal Kombat. Come here! Good evening. Welcome to Mortal Comeback, the comedy battle filled with puns, one-liners, and witty retorts. I am your host, your games master, Colin Lego. This is not Russell Crowe's OnlyFans channel. This, this, I'm supposed to be gladiatorial, and I've been told I already look like I work in a sex dungeon. So I might lose the helmet, but uh, let's stick with it for now. Anyway, welcome to Mo Mortal Comeback. This is a new idea, isn't it? Doing puns uh, and wordplay and witty retorts also in a battle style. Um, hello, if anyone's uh, listening and watching, nice to see you. Uh, do get involved. If you feel like you want to be part of the battles, you can get involved. Do send us a message, comment on the stream. And then my backstage person, who is a troll, He's a troll named Rob, the Trob, call him the Trob. Uh, the Trob will then post up your comments, your jokes. Ah, oh, there you go. See Jam First straight away. Loving this. Hi, Jam First. I, I mean, you do like a shiny helmet. That is true. Um, so hello. Nice to see you if you are watching. Um, so this is all about a battle. We are going to have four uh, comedians for you tonight. I can't see or breathe. Uh, we, we have got four comedians tonight battling it out. For your entertainment, we have got puns, we have got one-liners, we have got some lovely comebacks to some, you know, some beef. Hopefully there'll be a bit of beef, not too much. I'm talking about like a, like a harvester-style beef, you know. It's, it's a small amount of beef on the side, uh, but the main thing is to have fun. All right, so this is how it's going to work. We're going to get the contestants on, we're going to have a battle, and we'll see who at the end is the ultimate one-line warrior. All right, do get involved though, send in your jokes, send in your comments, and you are voting for the winner. So, we need to know who wins by your comments. All right, here we go. Let's see who is battling in, uh, in, in the first battle of Mortal Kombat. Chris Norton Walker. 
is a comedian, actor, and writer, performing comedy since 2010. His festivals include Edinburgh, Leicester, Hastings, and Bath. On Twitter, he is Norton Walker. Adele Cliff is a stand-up comedian, self-confessed trampoline junkie. Her jokes were included in Dave's Funniest Joke of the Fringe for four years running. On Twitter, she is Adele Cliff. And here they are, Adele Ooh. and Chris. Well, well, well. Hello, you ah. two. How are you? Good, thank you. We are well, thank you for asking us. We we are well. <laughs> we are well. <laughs> you are well. Yeah. Joint well. Uh, before we get into the battle and meet the other contestants, what are we thinking to the helmet? I think strong. You yeah. look like... I think, I think you should wear it to the shops. I think it's nice. I think it's good. I think you look like a sexy metal raven. Weirdest <laughs> <laughs> gladiator ever. <laughs> contestant, are you ready? Weird, weird sexy metal raven, are you ready? <laughs> Um, can I ask you first, Adele, are you ready for this more battle than comedy show? Are you ready? Are you in the fighting spirit? I'm always ready for a fight, even when people are not in the mood for it. I'm always there trying to start fights. So it's great to be in a format where my ability to turn anything into a competition is actively encouraged. Mm. Yeah, I, th I feel ready. I feel, I feel like this could be it. This could be what I was made for. Right, I don't want to okay. overstate it, obviously, but it could be. <laughs> uh, Chris, how about yourself? Are you pumped up and ready? I am pumped up and ready. I, what I've done to beat Adele, and I think she's very clever, is I've got her two sisters involved uh, who oh. are better at everything uh, than she is. So They are. They're very good. <laughs> they're, yeah. Wow. Well, you they're got, like, you know, some... you know when... They're both younger than me, so I'm like the pilot episode of a sitcom, and they're the, the series that you actually invest the money and enjoy. I'm just, I'm not even canon, really, if you think about it. <laughs> well, I can feel the love, I can also feel the tension, and we are ready for a battle. Mm. But before we do, let's meet our other two contestants who are Whoa. playing in Mortal oh. Kombat. Philip Simon is a comedian, writer, actor. He has written for shows such as Mock the Week, Newsjack, and News Review. He is the winner of Jewish Comedian of the Year 2015. And on Twitter, he is Philip's Comedy. Alf is a North Devon-based one-liner comedian. He has been on Britain's Got Talent, and David Walliams said he is a very funny guy. He wears fancy dress costumes to go shopping, and on Twitter, he is who else but Alf? Philip and Alf. Hello. There we are. There we are. Um, first of all, Philip, how are you? Are you ready to for this battle? I, I'm very well, and I'm pumped. That's, that's <laughs> all I'm going to say. Sounds disgusting. Uh, I'm pumped. <laughs> All right. I, I have I had my vaccine yesterday, so, and I asked for an extra dose just oh. just for today. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's that's kind of like saying that Alf is like a disease. But let's not, you know, let's not focus on that. People have said worse. People have said worse. Yeah. <laughs> Alf, are you ready for battle when it does, when the time does come? Oh yeah, I'm raring to go. Yeah, yeah. Philip doesn't stand a chance. Don't think I'm big headed. Uh, there you go, there's a prop. Um, oh, gosh. Wow. Suddenly I feel a little more confident. <laughs> oh. Oh. Right, well, enough of the chit chat. We need some bloodshed. Uh, Adele and Chris, yes. are you ready? Oh, yeah, sure. Right, okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Round one of Mortal Round Kombat. Round one. Fight. All right, either side of me, I do have Chris and Adele. And we are, uh, first of all, battling on the subject of junk food. Okay, junk food. Now, you at home, if you want to get involved, you can send in your jokes on junk food and we will read them out, or any jokes, really, any jokes you want. We will read them out at the end of this battle. Right, junk food, people. Let's see what we've got. Adele. 
Oh, you can okay. Go first. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, last time I got a Chinese takeaway, I spilt ramen down Madras. That that is my Asian fusion pun. Oh, <sighs> wow! But it's strong. Okay. Chris can't contain his excitement. Yeah, that was really good. Well done. Thanks, Chris. It's <laughs> <laughs> fighting talk. Chris, go. Well, I recently told a friend that during lockdown, I'd only been eating junk food from one particular supermarket. They said to me, Waitrose. I said, yes, dramatically. <laughs> nice bit of wordplay. All right. Mm. Okay. I can feel that the bruises are happening already. Right, Adele. Okay. Um, there's a new vegan drive through that's just open that only serves guacamole. I'd love to go, but I haven't have, well, basically, I don't avocado. <laughs> Vehicle related pun. Exactly. Oh, Is yeah. avocado junk food? Who knows? <laughs> if you fry it, possibly. Okay. Yeah. Chris. With some extra salt on it. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Right, I'm not worried now. That's fine. Uh, somebody came up to me recently and said, Chris, would you care for a slice of cake? I said, no, I'd probably just eat it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Oh. Lovely. That's wow. the taste of winning. That's what that is. Delicious. Is it, Chris? I yeah. don't think you'd be familiar with that taste. Um... Oh, Nick B. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Nick B liked it. Well done, Nick. And again, if you are enjoying these, let us know, and you're going to be voting for the winner. Right, we've done two. We've got the final joke coming on junk food. Over to Adele. Um, Chris is a big fan of junk food. I'm sure you may be aware. He's he's brought it up before. Uh, I actually found out recently that he's such a fan of junk food that he likes to have sex with vegetables from barbecues. Yep, sweet corn on the knob. Oh. <laughs> we... Oh, Great, we've already been cancelled, Adele. That's brilliant. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> we're four jokes in, and we've already been cancelled. There you go, Chris. Well, if you're gonna, in, my friends, that's if you're gonna stick your dick in sweet corn, I can't help you. <laughs> and that's a lovely people. tender lyric there from a nice love <laughs> song, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. Thank you, Jam First. Jam First gets me. There you go. No, there you go. That's what they expect. <laughs> All right, Chris. Uh, can you bring it back with this final joke on junk food? Go. Uh, so I don't know if you know this, but they're now selling biblical confectionery outside the Vatican. When I heard that, I was like, "Sweet Jesus!" Hey, hey. <laughs> wow! <Okay>. All right. <laughs> well, that is the the junk food battle is down. Uh, we're not going to vote yet because we're going to have another round. But uh, from the audience point of view, we've got uh, Alf and we've got Phil. Um, how did you rate that? Who do you think was was uh, winning out of those two there? I know where both of you live. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alf lives in a ditch. We all know this. <laughs> I quite liked um, Jam First's input, actually. Oh, yeah. Mm. yeah I'm honest. So uh, far, Jam <laughs> First winning. <laughs> That's a lot about the comedy industry, to be honest. Great, thank you. <laughs> I think it's fairly right. level so far. Fairly level, level. so far. Mm. Yeah. So keep far. it, keep right. it. Very diplomatic. Well, let's see how we go in this second round of this first Ooh. round. It's very confusing. Anyway, let's just play this thing and find out what happens. Round two. Fight. Fight. Okay, Chris and Adele, you are now battling it out to find out who is the winner of this round from audience vote. And your subject, my friends, zoos. Ooh. Ooh. Right. Ooh. Zoos. So... Don't be too cagey, Chris. <laughs> and if you feel you get a sense <laughs> of who's winning this, do comment. Either Adele or Chris and my uh, backstage troll, Rob the Trob, will uh, tell us who the winner is after this round. Okay, Zoos. Um, Adele went first last time, so Chris, you're going to go first this time on Zoos Go. Uh, who is a sea lion's favourite musician? You think it might be Seal, but it's actually R. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow, I love you. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. That's the level. Adele. 
Oh, the level's going to go down. Don't you worry about that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we are here to tank it. Um, look at, you know, at the time, me and my friends didn't really enjoy it. But looking back, I now realise that our slow-moving slow reptile teacher taught us so much. Oh, wow. There you go. Okay. Well, I thought that joke was totally awesome. <laughs> shell yeah, guys. Shell yeah. Easy. There we go. All right. <laughs> Technically, she's used up all her jokes now. So, yes. Um... Uh, <laughs> no, I haven't. I've got more than <laughs> three jokes. Have you? Yes. Um, okay. Hi. So, yeah. right. uh, I saw a friend recently who said they got a new job where they sit in the cage and dress as a big jungle cat. I thought, you lying. <laughs> you lying. <laughs> you lying. You lying. <laughs> nice. Take pride in that joke, Chris. Oh, uh, what's that? Okay. Oh, yeah, nice. That's my Chris for the win so far. Okay, well, let's see. Adele, second joke on zoos. Um, I'm very interested in animal husbandry, but apparently that's illegal and the priest refuses to be involved. <laughs> well, that's a good one, Adele. Well done. Who told you to try that one then? <laughs> two jokes down, one to go to find out who is the winner of this battle. Over to Chris for the final joke. Him, go. All right, I'm going to apologize um, to start off with. In my local zoo, they've taught the monkeys to come on command. Command is the other keeper. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Funny when well, they're true, isn't it? <laughs> wow. It sounds like Adele should have written that. Okay, Adele, over to you for the final joke on It Zoom's is very me, that one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, a, a while ago, I took Chris on a tour of just animal parks um, to tell him what I thought of him. Uh, mostly it was insults, so it was a lot of why the long leap face? Why are you so cross? But mostly it was, whoa, burn. <laughs> ah. Wow. There we go. Very good. All right. Well, uh, I, I don't know who the winner is. It's up to you. I do. It's me, and you should vote for me. Otherwise, I'll be very sad. <laughs> You'll be sad anyway. I'll be All sad. Right, well, at you. So will you, Chris. That's not an argument to not vote for me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, whilst we're finding out who the winner is, and before Rob tells us, I'm going to take my mask off just so I can put my glasses on. This never <laughs> happened in Gladiator. Okay. <laughs> right, let's see how people have this been is commenting. Colin. Hello, it's me. Is that what it looks like? Put the mask back on. It's horrendous. This is awful. Oh, I felt like we've been catfished. <laughs> Slave, really? remove your helmet and tell us your name, Colin. Okay. <laughs> 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 doesn't quite work, does it? Okay. Um, uh, Colm says, I've got this green fruit that's shaped like a... a, 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 a my, my screen's frozen. Hang on a sec. Can you read that one, Adele? Uh, yeah, screen. sure. Um, I've got this green fruit that's shaped like a patella, and it can, only, uh, it can open any animal park. Yes, it's a zucchini. Oh... Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> my, screen, my, my yeah. screen totally froze there for a second. Oh, okay, I'm back again now. Here we ice. Um, Nathan, I travelled to Longleat Safari Park to see my favourite rock band. Unfortunately, I had misread the poster and they were actually exhibiting a deaf leopard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Nice, nice. Yeah. Um, whilst, just whilst we're waiting for the final <laughs> vote to come in, um, uh, boys down the bottom, have you got any zoo puns you'd like to throw into the mix? Any animal puns that you can think of? Uh, I mean, no. Um, right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, no, I, I've got I've got my old classic. I, I love I love to do my old classic of I asked my pet lion how he likes his meat. He said raw. <laughs> That's very good. I, I guess I guess you could. I, I've lent my pet lion to the zoo. There you are. That's ah. okay. <laughs> now it's not crowbarred my, uh, in, is it? My girlfriend works at the zoo, and she came home the other day with a rather suspicious-looking stain on her. I asked what it was, and she went ape shit. <laughs> there nice. you go. Right. Let's see if Trom 
troll uh, the troll called Rob. Do we have a decision, Rob? Who is the winner? Is it Chris or Adele? And the Rob, winner Rob, is. I'm just hoping that Rob hasn't fallen asleep and will post up a name very soon. Who is it, the Rob? Winner is is find... Chris. Yes. <sighs> None of the the Facebook comments are showing up. (laughs) Chris is the winner. Well, well, well. Well It's fine. I've got four different laptops in front of me, all voting for myself. So I'm very happy. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that means that Chris goes through to the final. However, Adele, you are going to be battling out later in the third place throwdown. So it's not over yet, Adele. It's not over. It's not. Okay. So, as we swap around and we go into our next battlers, uh, let's just do that. Here we go. Mortal Kombat. All right, we're back. We're going to swap the punners. Here we go. We have got Alf and we have got Philip. And they are going to be battling out for you. Again, you can join in. You can send in your jokes and you can vote who wins? Actually, I might, I'm going to take my glasses off. Okay, so... Um, Whoa, boys, Colin, ready? calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Keep my glasses off. Put the on. helmet back on. <laughs> helmet, helmet, helmet. 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 Sorry. Helmet. Helmet. <laughs> All right. Okay. I wonder, if, I wonder if, if ever this happened in Gladiators. Can they do glasses on the outside? Oh, nice. Yeah, lovely. lovely. Yeah. All right. Strong look. Hey, get strong look. Okay, uh, literally isn't a strong look. I can't see anything. Okay, um, right here we go. Um, oh, who's this? I need my glasses to see this. Um, <laughs> I just met a bunch of animals eating online. It was a Zoom eating. Okay. Oh, wow. Nathan. Ah. That's very wrong, nice. Yeah. Very nice. Right here we go. Uh, Alf and Phil, you are going to be first battling it out on holiday. Days. Holidays. Does that say holidays? We are, we are all craving a holiday right now after our time locked indoors. Um, so hopefully you can uh, prepare us for that with holidays. If you have a holiday joke, do send it in and look out for your winner. I'm going to say Phil. Would you like to go first on holidays? Sure. Thank you. Sure. Um, I'm not proud of having holiday sex in France, but that time I went to Wales... Je ne regret rien. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Love it. Right, okay, good. Um, Alf. Okay. I've just come back from a holiday in Argentina and not particularly warm this time of year. Could say it was bordering on chili. <laughs> Geographical. Oh, okay, yeah, nice. Nice. All right. Started strong, both of you. Okay, over to Phil. I'll I'll stick with that theme, I guess. Uh, We booked a trip through Scandinavia once. Uh, Our travel agent told us, as you start leaving Sweden, you've crossed the finish line. (laughs) I was like, (laughs) no way! (laughs) (laughs) Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Uh, Alf. Okay. Every time I go on holiday, I always bring back peach liqueur with me. It's my holiday schnapps. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Love a bit of archers and lemonade. Not a joke, but true. Okay. <laughs> Drink in the laughs. Drink him in, Alf. Drink him in. <laughs> um, we went on holiday to the Costa del Sol, which was full of expats. Uh, I guess that's where postmen go to retire. <laughs> nice. Um, okay, last joke. I think you've had three, haven't you, Phil? So it's last joke have, yeah. from Alf. Okay, on holidays. Off you go. Right. So on holiday in Helsinki, I found myself in a pool with some really boring locals, which was pretty cool because I've always wanted to swim with dull fins. <laughs> Dolphin. oh, Dolph, dolphins, dolphins. All right, good. Um, if you feel you have a winner from that battle, just log it for a second and we'll do a vote in a moment. All right. Um, so, well done. Uh, Adele, who was your winner there? 
I think my winner was comedy, broadly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, think, yeah. I think tonight the winner is always going to be comedy. Um, Have you been listening to another, another show? Comedy, your, mirth, joy. In your headphones. Yeah, yeah. No, most of <laughs> I have got Mock the Week on. Uh, no. <laughs> Chris, highlights for you? Uh, I think it was my comment that I made that I got a laugh for, so that's always good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good, good. Going strong. Going strong. Okay. Um, if you do have any jokes, do send them in. We'll read them out in a minute. Um, okay, we're going to move. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We've got one. Um, here we go. Steve, when I told my parents that I'd booked them uh, in a holiday in outer space, they were over the moon. Hey. Oh. I mean, you can love it. Love it. That is oh, space, Chris. What was your argument with the moon oh, being space? You don't just have to go over the moon, do you? You could. You don't know where the holiday was booked to. Where was the holiday booked to? Can we have more information on uh, this uh, weird I, th- I would say if you'd booked a holiday to anywhere in space that isn't the moon, you'd probably have to go over the moon. It's very close. No. Well, well there'd be no point. atmosphere, so that's yeah. fine. There, there's probably yeah. a bypass you could take. There'd be a toll road around the moon, mm. so you don't have to go over the moon. <laughs> You're not I'd just like to say, uh, if I make it through to the final, I would uh, I wouldn't comment on jokes like that. I thought that was a hilarious joke, Steve. <laughs> but, yeah, that's right. I'd just like to say we're all aware that Alf's a kiss us. <laughs> yeah. And I, I don't, I don't care about the win. final. I don't care about the final because I just want to be done in time for um, line of duty. <laughs> Uh, Nathan, let me get back on track here. Nathan says, I have had uh, <laughs> I have had to can some of my holiday camp jokes. Pun tin. All right. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Right. We are, um, we'll get rid of that. Okay, good. So here we go. Moving on to the next yeah, right battle, guys. Here we go. Um, family. 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 Philip, family. Okay. Who's going to go first? I think it's going to be Alf. Alf. Okay. Yes? Okay. Alf. Um, Family. Okay. Off you go. Right. At a young age, I was adopted. I was adopted by a man called Daz. Or as I come to know him, it's my non-biological father. <laughs> <laughs> Visuals. Okay. Visuals. Nice. Lovely prop. Okay. Lovely prop right. use. Mm. Right, Phil. Phil, can you do better? Let's find out. Um, <laughs> when I... When I met my wife, she told me she couldn't bear children. Since then, we've actually had two sons, and it turns out I can't stand kids either. <laughs> uh, how's lockdown being, Phil? All right. <laughs> With the... I, I'm not. I'm not going to say on camera how lockdown's been. <laughs> all right. Um, Al, what have we got? Right. Okay. Right. The shortest joke I've, I've got today. Right. I've got a conjoined uncle on my father's side. No? Okay. <laughs> I, my brain I, I hurts. Like that. Okay. Yeah, good. It makes sense. Yeah. I think, I think that was a very good joke, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if your dad's heard that, but he must be beside himself. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, uh, Phil. Phil. Um, uh, I was I was named after my granddad, uh, which makes sense because he was born fifty seven years before me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just chronology. Right. Um, we are into the final joke time. then of the family round. Wow, what have you yeah. got? So, um, I split up with my partner because she was stealing from me. She stole all my Kevin Bacon films. And all my small French cakes. On a plus side, I am now put loose and fancy free. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I got that one. Nice. Clever, Colin. Okay, um, Phil. Colin knows Footloose. That's what I we know, know now. Footloose. I know Footloose and small cakes. <laughs> um, Phil, to finish us off, and so people can vote. What have you got? I will indeed finish you off. Um, <laughs> I have got uh, opinions are like your children. The better they turn out, the more people suspect they weren't yours in the first place. <laughs> Though, to be fair, it is okay to steal other people's opinions. <laughs> nice. Well, That's how lockdown's been going. <laughs> <laughs> 
Right, well, it's time for you, the lovely viewers, to vote. If you think Alf won, uh, message me with Alf. If you think it was Phil, message me with Phil. Uh, and in the meantime, we'll read out some of your wonderful jokes. More come on. Oh, yeah. right, okay, here we go. So what have we had here? Um, okay, Al's family... Hang on, I need to get my glasses on. All right, here we go. <laughs> here we go. It's awful. Okay. Al's family keeps him in a in the washing cupboard. I presume that's because of the, the dad's reference, Al. Maybe. All right. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, okay Rob is uh, counting the um, things. Okay, here we go. Steve, I know I had my kids too young because my great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-grandson <laughs> told me. <laughs> Right. That is great. That's a great joke. That's a great joke. It's a great joke. Um, it's a great, great okay. joke. Let's have a um, uh, Is it Alf's time already? Thought we were just getting started. Voting Alf. That's a vote, Alf. I thought it was going to be a joke and it was actually a vote. Oh, I, right. think, I think it's. I think is it, was, it, was, it was half time. time. Half, half time was the joke. Uh, oh, is it? Oh, and then, oh, and then okay. he threw in. What he basically did, he, he turned voting Alf into a joke. Wow. Which so, wow! I'm just wow. I'm just saying. <laughs> very very good. I I missed it. That was very good. Okay. Um. Uh, do we have any more jokes there? No, we don't. Okay. So, uh, Rob, <laughs> Rob, would you like to tell us who the winner of that round was? <laughs> Rob, there is Rob asleep. Oh. It's just Alf. No. It says Alf. Oh, it's Alf. 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 It says Alf. 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 It just says Alf. Alf, you're no the winner, my friend. Well done. <laughs> Alf, well done. <laughs> Alf wins. <laughs> All right. Slick as you like. I think okay. this is how they do the Oscars. <laughs> just, just sneak in the winner's name to see who notices. Yeah. Yeah, this is all just walk on stage holding the envelope like backwards with all the answers like that. <laughs> okay, well, that means that both Chris and Alf are going through to the final. However, to find out who is going to be coming in third place, we have a round called... The third place throwdown. The third place throwdown. Fight! Okay, a little bit different here. We're going to have Adele and we're going to have Phil. Now, Adele and Phil, you are going to now battle it out to find out who is winning the third place throwdown. But there's no topics. There's no topics. It's a free for all. And we'll see That's how we anarchy. go. <laughs> Absolute anarchy. I might even try and snap my pen. No, oh, can't do it. No. Okay. Um, so, uh, free for all. And if you have a joke out there that you want to send in, do that and we'll get that on the screen before the end of the show. Okay, who's going to be third in this amazing battle? Um, let's go. Adele, let's yes, start. What? Free for all. What can you Congratulations, do? Congratulations, Colin, on turning in the correct direction there. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> there well done. Also, Colin, this was the UK PC 2020 final. It's back in the past, so isn't it? Little, they can have a little grudge match. And we're going to keep it PC. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. If viewers are not aware, Adele and Philip met in the 2020 final of the UK. We'd met Fun before Champions. that, Colin. We, we, we met before that. Yeah. <laughs> and they met in the car and, uh, on the way Adele out. Won it. <laughs> <laughs> Adele won it. So this could be proper saucy. Okay, Adele, what have we got? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how saucy it's going to be. Yeah. Catch up, everyone. Catch up. Right. Um, <laughs> it's been quite hard in lockdown to continue to do challenge and fun things, but people do say you should do one thing every day that scares you. So what I've been doing every day is taking a pregnancy test. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, but when you're doing that, is it still the rule of six, though? To, uh... No, okay, fine. Yeah, you have to get uh, five good. friends uh, to come and pee with. Yeah. <laughs> Phil, uh, Phil, over here. Phil, what have we got? Uh, so I was thinking about this girl I dated back in college. Uh, I knew her in a biblical sense in that I picked her up in a hotel room and every story I have about her is made up. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, Chris. Gun shows have never fallen foul of religion before. No. no. 
it's a pretty pretty oh. safe <laughs> topic we've got here. Yep. Okay, uh, Adele, go. I think road safety is very important. Yeah, I always wear a seatbelt because when else in day-to-day -day life are you going to see your breasts expressed as a fraction? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I managed it whilst homeschooling, to be honest. <laughs> you, you want to keep the kids engaged. Yeah, to be fair, you were making a tit of yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Phil. Hi. Hi. Joke, please. Uh, joke, please. The, the NHS have run out of plasters. The government are blaming on all the cuts. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. good. Very good. good. Very nice. Right, Adele, I don't know who's winning yet. We need people to vote. Find out the winner. Um, uh, Adele, third joke, please, from you. Go. Uh, sure. Yeah, why not? Let's do this. Um, the Roman Emperor's wife, wife absolutely hates playing hide and seek because wherever she hides, Julius Caesar. Uh, yes, very nice. Very it's nice. satisfying. Very it's a satisfying clean. joke. Yeah. <laughs> My dad liked that joke. So <laughs> your dad liked that joke. Yes, That's he did. Thing. We, we found your thing. audience. <laughs> No, he's not normally my audience, so that'll say something about that joke. <laughs> Bill, what have you got? Uh, on my first day at the gym, I was given a gun and sent to shoot Nazis in the woods. That's not how I imagined resistance training. <laughs> <laughs> Adele's dad that loves that joke. He does. My dad loves that joke. <laughs> Adele, what have you got? I was in the gym too recently, actually, uh, and I hadn't been out for a while. And this guy in the gym was flirting with me, uh, and I didn't really know how to respond. He said, "Have you got Fitbit?" And I said, "Yeah, it's my whole body." Um... <laughs> oh, yes. Well, I don't know how long I'm going to keep this going. It might go on all night. I've no idea. Okay, um, but we'll have another one from you, Phil. Go. Uh, Michael J. Fox loved gardening, but was overly obsessed with one plant in particular. He was always going back to the fuchsia. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd, I'd, I'd throw a pun in. Yeah, yeah why not? Why not? Yeah. You know, why not? Are we doing puns? We are now. You could I've do. got a pun and a not pun. Shall I do the pun? Well, what you well mean, actually. What yeah, go on. Okay, well, no, you know what, or, or a story. What I've written, I've written a new hour long show. Shall I do that? Yeah, do that. Yeah, um, okay, um, great. You, whatever you do, Adele, you've got one chance here to have a final uh, sort of uh, battle with Philip. So make it good. What's it going to oh, be? I thought we had five to do. This is was that okay. five? Have we done five? We've done I've four. crossed four off my list. Yeah, I went you've first. Right, so Phil, got, Phil's, one more. One this more is my do. last oh, one. Oh, God, do you know what? I'm... See, yeah. homeschooling, my math, math was terrible. I feel sorry for your right. children, Phil. <laughs> sorry, that, I don't think they'll be my children for much longer. If you can't count to five, they're in real trouble. What, okay. One, two, six, 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 six. <laughs> Adele, final yes. one from you. Go. Uh, I've been doing a lot of Zoom yoga classes during lockdown. Um, and my, my yoga instructor says if I want to find enlightenment, I need to look inside myself. But I've told her it's the beginner's class, not that flexible yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh okay nice very good right sorry i'm trying to get it back to my level that julius yeah, caesar you, you... joke was far too intelligent <laughs> <laughs> phil let's do it what have we got to be honest, I, I think the whole show sort of peaked on he's on my father's side that that was my happiest moment <laughs> of the whole night so anyway um my last joke okay the bbc have asked Professor Brian Cox to host a political panel show, but he said one thing he would never do was question time. Not very nice. nice. <laughs> very nice. Every comedian wants this. Yeah. <laughs> just a golf clap from all the we, other acts. We, we won't laugh, just a patter. <laughs> one other thing that happened there as well, Phil, is you saying Alf's joke again. I now understand it. <laughs> oh! oh. oh. 
Double laugh. It's a, yeah. it's it's a, a good joke. <laughs> it's a very good joke. No. I was, I'm just, I'm just t- 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 touching a moron to understand it. Okay. Um, right. So good. So whilst Rob is counting up the votes to find out who's won the third place throwdown, let's read. It's difficult some... for him because I'm going to have over five votes. So it's a good thing Phil's not counting. <laughs> well, Colin, at the moment, it's straw. Oh. Oh. The, the oh. next oh. vote could oh. swing oh. it either oh. way. Next next. In that case, for the next joke, I nominate Alf. <laughs> Just, another one. I tell you what, I tell you what we can. Um, I'll tell you what we can do to sort this out. Um, Phil and Adele, do you have one more joke that you could throw into the mix? Yeah. Oh, sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, I have more than yeah. one more joke. You got oh, any? We could just get a kid we'll from the audience inside. Tell what we'll do. <laughs> yeah. We'll tell we'll good, do yeah. Then. They definitely because know made, more than everyone else. <laughs> because I made the sting, and it seems fitting. Let's do this. Finish them. Oh, so Phil, what? How are we going to finish Adele? Go. When I took my driving test, I got three majors and seven minors. I probably shouldn't have turned into that army base on Bring Your Kid to Work Day. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> oh, okay. Adele, what's it going to be? <laughs> um, sure, I'll go for Phil. That seems to work for me. Um, <laughs> when I was at university, I was a bit of a lightweight, but I was very good at giving stealthy public blowjobs. So you could often find me drinking my boyfriend under the table. <laughs> Hi, Mum. I'm doing a new pun show at the weekend. <laughs> what, what? The Collins, Mum. <laughs> Hi, Colin's dad. Hi, Colin's dad. How are you both? I'm sorry. I thought so, he Adele, nearly how, got rid of me, and now Adele, I'm here. How did your dad feel about that joke? I don't think he's seen it, and I I hope he never will. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, Rob, do we have any more news? Has that? made it certain who is the winner or has Rob just fallen? Here we go, right. Yes, we do have a winner. Ready? Are you haunted? <laughs> Ta-da! Phil! Oh. Philip Simon. Wow. So Adele, that's yeah, one all. It is. And this one is just as high stakes. Um, no. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you keep the belt. Thanks. Thanks, I will. Thanks, Rob. Well, Adele, I'm sorry about that. I'm very sorry. That's all right. I forgive you, Colin. It's okay. And, and it's all right. You've got you've got a while to fix the format so that I win. I mean, seven <laughs> seven kids had to die for that for me to win that round. To be fair. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, congratulations. Third place to Philip. Well done. Well done. Uh, thank you very much. All right. So let's get into it. This is what we've all been waiting for. Um, and this is the final fight. Here we go. The final fight. fight. I feel I should put my helmet back on. I feel that it's only right that I do that. Okay, so let's get the competitors into the gladiatorial ring. There we go. Now, um, this... That's nice of you like to let them into place... your ring, Colin. I <laughs> do <laughs> <laughs> Just always two metres. Just, like, um, just like the third place throwdown. It's going to be a free-for-all, no topics. You can say what you want. Uh, well, in the not. hope of winning, mm-hmm. well, well, say don't say <laughs> what you want. Say say something nice and funny. Okay, um, let's go. No let's poems. Go. No poems. No, no poems. No poems. No poems. Right. Okay, Chris. Yes. What have you got? Do you want me to go first? Would you? Yes, okay. please. Uh, okay. Uh, so it's an absolute pleasure for you to encounter one of the only comedians on the circuit whose face incorporates the opening three clues of any game of Guess Who. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You could flip okay. yourself down now. We look like a Guess Who. <laughs> I, can't, I can't really do it. <laughs> I'm going to screen the entire way around. <laughs> I'm very tempted. I'm very tempted. Very nice. Uh, Alf, what have we got in return? In ter- ter- right, so um, tomorrow I'm going to go out busking. Uh, when I go busking, I go dressed as a giant green triangle. And that's the difference, isn't it, between a street performer and a quality street performer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yes. Yes. They're my favourite in the quality streak. Okay, not funny. Okay. What? Good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Factual. Are they the best ones? Aren't they just like chocolate with squishy chocolate in the middle? I, I thought that was what chocolate they made with all the leftover chocolate from all the other chocolates. Yeah. <laughs> they look like off I look like a lot of elf props, to be quite honest. Oh. <laughs> 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 right. Uh, Chris, what have we got in return? Uh, so I walked up to my dad recently and said, Dad, how do solar panels work? And he said, son. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, science. Okay. <laughs> Ow. Okay, right. Even though it's got no working brake lights, my 95-year-old granddad still drives his car to work every day. Still no sign of him slowing down. <laughs> <laughs> science. Okay. Uh, Chris. <laughs> Chris. So what I used to do is I, it's quite embarrassing really, I used to piss with the door open and my partner absolutely hates it because she thinks it makes my driving worse. Wow, <laughs> 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 oh, nice. Oh, but so, someone wasn't very happy with you knocking one of the props there. How dare Chris knock out props? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yes. So I can easily knock them. On. They are yeah. they are made of cardboard. And knock them too hard and, and they will break. <laughs> <laughs> um, Al, what's your third joke, please? Um, what's my third joke? Um, I've got a um, I've got a pet panda called Little Richard, and he eats a wap babadoo a lot of bamboo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, wow! <laughs> this wow. I don't. Wow, well, that was great. I love that. Okay, thank you, Chris, Chris. What have you got in return? Did you know that the Cher song "Gypsies, Tramps, and Thieves" was originally entitled "Luton"? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get letters. Luton, Chris. What, what's they can't Luton? write joined up in Luton. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I think you find that Rob, my little troll in the back room, grew up near Luton. I think he's going to. Rob's going to fix there. the boat now. Yeah, yeah. but he's not from <laughs> Luton. That is the difference. No, no, he's not from Luton. You're okay. Is that why um, we're not allowed to see him on camera? <laughs> <laughs> well, witness no, protection. No. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, Al, joke number four from you. Off you go. Okay. I used to be in a band. Uh, I used to be in a band called the Dead Badgers, and we just did middle of the road type stuff. <laughs> Love it. Very nice. Yeah, <laughs> this one I'll take that. That's fine. Looks that looks pretty joined up to me. <laughs> well, it's come down to this. One final joke from our two finalists. What are they gonna say? Who's going to win? Chris, over to you. So I'm gonna finish on a pun. Uh, to exercise, I like to knock on all the doors in the local area. Jehovah's Fitness. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Right. Remember, you're going to vote after this, people. Alf, what okay. have we got? Um, so I got two phone calls today from the lady at B&Q to tell me that the red taps I ordered are now in stock. I think she's got the hots for me. <laughs> Very nice. All right. Well, there we are. The battle is done. The blood has been shed. Who was one? Well, before we do that, I might read out some of your jokes. If there is some. Yeah. I'll just play this first, just so I can take my helmet off. More. Come on back. Spent far too much time making those things. Okay. Colin, so, where's your Mason helmet? I took it off. I, I mean, you can't have a glad to wearing glasses. Um, uh, a recent survey shows that more and more people are using allotments. It's a growing trend. Oh, nice, nice. Very nice. Nice. Very nice. Nathan's, Nathan's very uh, on its night. Uh, my Moggy won Rear of the Year. 
The prize was catastrophe. Cat astrophe. I can't say it, but I understand. Catastrophe. Catastrophe. Yeah. I would say the prize was a catastrophe. Yeah, that it would technically doesn't make sense that joke. Can you? It makes sense. I would just put an A in it. That would make yeah. it read better. Are we, are we working? Rewrite it. Send it back. Yeah. In. Okay. Welcome to me Rewrite and Chris. It. Yeah. <laughs> Fix Nathan's joke without him asking. <laughs> God, if we if we're workshopping, Adele, I've got a few notes. Oh, oh. thanks, Phil. I've got a lot of notes. I've been recording. <laughs> okay, who's this? Um, are you trying to tell me a tricycle presented songs of the praise for twenty years? No, I said Jeffrey Wheeler. Jeffrey mm. Wheeler. Jeffrey uh, Wheeler. Jeffrey uh, yeah. Wheeler. Jeffrey oh, Wheeler. Got it. Really? Yeah, again. A... Uh, <laughs> it. Stop it, Chris. Right. <laughs> um, so the I believe the votes might be in. I might be wrong, but Rob, all the way from near Luton, which you're not, has anyone won? You remember, remember you're not from Luton. You're from near Luton, which is fine. <laughs> well, I, I... <laughs> this first mortal comeback. Let's see who's won and if the show will ever return for a second. Uh, outing. Rob, I don't there. win. I'm doing a poem. What do I know? Well, uh, well, uh, win. well, well. Well, <laughs> Thank well you. done, having <laughs> one more friend than me, Alf. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not you slagged off the adjudicator. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll do it again to his face. <laughs> we don't well, know what his um, face looks like. <laughs> I'll find him. <laughs> he has no face. Um, guys, thank you so much for joining me. First of all, can we say a big thank you to all the people who have been watching and joining in? Thank you thank so you. much. Great, 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 great voting, guys. Well done. Well done. Don't worry, we... you'll get it right next time. <laughs> yes, and if you are going to send jokes in, make sure they're actually good jokes. Um, <laughs> and, Chris, stop it. And, and consult professional comedians before you stop do. That, well, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. I, I think we could all benefit from that advice. <laughs> Nathan has retyped Nathan's joke with a catastrophe, and it works great. Oh, that's well, really yeah. good. Well done. I don't, I don't it, work yeah. with a, it doesn't work with a capital A. Just a regular yeah. lowercase <laughs> A. Sorry, sorry. I take right. back my yeah. That was Jesus. Sorry. What is this? Come on, guys. <laughs> that's all we really need. Just, just get this right. My, 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 my homeschooled six-year-old got this, <laughs> but they can't count to five. Your six-year-old has been taken record. away. <laughs> Um, before you go, uh, let's do this in the order where you came. Fourth was Adele. Adele, before Hello. we switch off, where can people find out more about you and follow you on the internet? I'm all over the web. Uh, you can see me on uh, twitch.tv slash Cliff. I play mm. computer games of various types and chat. And at some point, me and Chris are going to do a less aggressive version of send us your jokes and we'll help you fix them. Uh, more, aggressive. more aggressive. OK, well, I'll be less aggressive. Chris will be as aggressive. <laughs> uh, also, if you're looking for things on the internet, you should um, go to uh, Katie Pritchard's website and buy some of her T-shirts. Aren't they cool? Look, it's a oh, this one yeah. is a T-Rex dancing to a disco ball. Oh, love it. They, yeah, so you should do that. They're excellent. Uh, thanks, yeah. Adele. Um, Phil, <laughs> Philip, where can people check your stuff out and follow you? My my social media is all the same. Uh, Philip's comedy, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, if you like kids' jokes, buy my children's uh, joke book, which is raising mm. money for fair share charity uh, from my website, mm. philipsimon.com uk forward slash shop uh, and if you want to buy some clothes gap outlet <laughs> uh, <laughs> nice very good um Thanks. chris second place chris uh, where can people check your stuff out please uh, well, if you'd like to search for Chris Norton Walker on YouTube or kind of anywhere, if you'd like to pop around, that'd be nice. I'd be, I'd be quite honest. Uh, if you'd like to buy this top, I will be selling it on eBay in approximately 15 minutes' time. So <laughs> please do that. I need all the money because I haven't gained very much. Uh, but, uh, but you're doing very well. <laughs> thank you. Uh, but I will be touring the local Luton area soon. So that will be... That'll be good. <laughs> if, if only for shopping. Nice. <laughs> And of course, last but by no means least, our winner, Alf. Hey. Well done to Alf. Alf, where can people check your stuff out and find you online, sir? Um, Alf Comedy at Facebook. Uh, who else but Alf on YouTube? And who else but Alf on Twitter? 
Um, mm. And I do. Um, I always take part in something called lunch pun every dinner time between twelve and one, uh, and that's where we always try and write a new joke every day. Um, I, I've so, seen those, yeah. Alf, and some of them are very trying. Some, some of them are very. Trying. <laughs> so yeah, you could um, if, if people want to take part in that, that'd be great. Yeah. Right. Look, I've got this. Look, a little trophy, a cat ass oh. trophy. Can we see oh. this? Can you? Uh, uh, can you? Can it? Oh my god, it's invisible. Can you Well done. Right, a big thank you to Rob backstage. Well done. Uh, for yes, well out. done, Rob. Yes. Well done. Thank well you, Rob. Um, everyone wave really weirdly until we do the credits. Thanks, everyone. Bye. 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 Thanks, Colin. Get over!